Hey guys, welcome back to Digiverse. Last time, we took the red structure deck for the new BT6 format, the Gallant one. Reviewed it, upgraded it, and then we took it to a match against this deck, the blue Ultra Force Vemon starter deck for BT6. Now we're going to review it, upgrade it, and see just how well it'll match up. Also guys, if you like what I'm showing you, give us a sub, give us a like, it helps out a lot. And with that, let's go. So here we have the complete starter deck for RST8, which is the blue variant. And we'll just jump straight in into the babies, which is Demi Vemon. You get four of this guy. Uh, if you have eight or more cards in hand, plus 1000 DP, pretty good in mid to late game, because you're gonna have a really big uh, stack in your hand. As well as if you keep a guy in your nursery, involving him up, you're going to see a lot of cards in your hand as you evolve and just wait until he's nice and big so you can bring it out. So uh, it's pretty easy to bring up to get that inherent effect. And a thousand extra DP on attack is pretty good. On to the rookies. Uh, for this Gavimon, very much the same effect as a Demi Vimon, plus 1000 DP if you have eight or more cards, uh, which is very easy to do, like I said with the Demi Vimon, uh, in uh, mid game when you're evolving over your uh, nursery area, getting the guys really big, very easy to do. Four of the Electmon. This one is a reprint from the BT1 set. So it's good to see him back for the new players that weren't around for the first set. Either way, he's a common, so it's not too hard to get your hands on. And then we've got four of the Drachmon. It's got the effect where on play you reveal the top three, and then add a Drachmon um, that you reveal and put the rest at the bottom. Very easy to do since we do have the Drachmons Core Dramon, Ultra Force Vigimon, very easy. Uh, Gorillamon, unfortunately not a hit, but Power Vigimon, very easy to get hits out of this. Uh, and then we've got two of the Vimon. This is the alternative to the uh, Reds Gilmon, where um, it can quick evolve for four cost if your opponent has a level six or higher Digimon. And it has the inherent effect where if you have seven or fewer cards, draw a card, which will get you into your uh, Gabby Mon effects and your Demi V Mon effects online much quicker. Also, you only get two of these, so when you pick up your second starter deck, because you want to get two to complete your play sets, you'll get your extra two here and you get a full play set. Champions, we start off with V Dramon. This one also you only get two of, so get a second starter deck will duplicate these to four. It's got the inherent effect where when attacking, if you have eight or more cards in your hand, you return one level three Digimon to the hand. Pretty good to just remove um, boards that are going really wide that might threaten your security. Also his effect is really easy to come online mid-game when you're saving him in your, in your nursery, quickly evolving him in order to draw more cards. Then we have Cordramon, on play draw two, and it has the security effect where if it's revealed in security at the end of battle, you play it as well, which is really rad because you'll get that extra draw two as well. Really good for boosting consistency, and you can hard play it to get to your um, 8 count much faster, which matters a lot for your Demi Vimon, and your Gabimon, and your Vigimon. Then we got Gorillamon. One cost Evo is really nice. This is a reprint from BT1 as well. Good to see this for the new players. Ultimates. Aero Vigimon. This guy will have jamming, which is really cool. Jamming's a pretty common keyword in blue, which is nice to see. Plus, it'll have if the inherent effect where if you have 8 or more cards in hand, it'll give its evolution a plus 1 security attack. Again, quite easy to do in this deck. We've also got the level 5 blocker. Level 5 blockers are quite rare uh, in um, the Digimon 1 meta. Most blockers are level 4, being 5k or 6k. So it's cool to see a level 5 blocker with a 7k. And of course, it's searchable off the Draco Mon effect here. And then routing off the ultimates, to Monzemon, which is a nice reprint from BT1. Good to see again. Megas now. Two of the Ultra Force Vemon. This has the effect where on Digivolve, bounce a level four or lower to the hand. And then when attacking, if you have eight or more cards in your hand, unsuspend this guy. If you're able to bump this guy up by a security attack, when you unsuspend, you'll hit for even more security. Say if it's at plus one security attack, when you swing and you're successful and then you restand and you swing again, that's four security. It's better than having a generic plus one security attack where um, if you substitute the plus one security attack for the unsuspend, then it would normally just be three hits. But if you had a plus one and unsuspend, then that's four hits. That's nice. 
plus anticipated you can hit for game. Say if you have plus one security attack and they have two security, you can swing for those two with the plus one security attack effect. Unsuspend and then hit for game. And then for the last mega, we've got Slayer Dramon. Uh, on Digivolving plus one security attack, so it's important not to end your turn when you're evolving to him. Because if you do that, then you'll lose that plus one security attack. But the effect is really cool because when you give this Digimon plus one security attack, if you were to swing and then evolve over it and then swing again with something, then that plus one security attack carries over. So you may be able to splash this card into a Omnimon Blitz deck. Um, for blue that is, because when you re-stand and swing again, that plus one security attack will carry over to your Omnimon. It's also got the additional effect where the Digimon can't be blocked, which is pretty neat if you have a big security attack hit coming out of it. Options now, we've got the reprint of the Hammer Spark, which is really nice. This card was getting a little bit expensive considering um, this was only printed in the original blue starter deck. So it's good to see this being reprinted so you can bring that price down. Opens it up a lot to the new players. And then V Windblade. This can bounce a level six or lower Digimon to the hand. It's a really nice removal, especially when your opponent might be holding their Megas in their uh, nursery to bring out on their next turn. So this is a really nice threat to come out of security or to play when your opponent brings out that guy out of the nursery. So it's really nice. Plus more removal options for blue is always welcomed. We've also got Victory Sword, which will unsuspend one of your blue Digimon. Security effect will add it to the hand. Um, for a three cost, it's not that great considering that usually you start the turn off with uh, two memory um, without a memory tamer, which this deck does not come with. Um, doesn't come with any tamers, of course. Considering that if you would pay the cost, you might just end your turn, so you're not getting the most out of this card. Maybe you'd want to unsuspend it so it's safe for next turn, but for me, being the aggressive player that I am, I'd rather unsuspend it to a swim with it again to potentially go for game. Now, the really neat thing again with these starter decks is that while the previous starter decks came with a free pack to go with them, whether that was uh, BT4 in the second wave or BT1 in the original set, these ones come with guaranteed memory boosters. These are the kind of cards we haven't seen before, uh, and they're really nice to add consistency to any kind of deck. So for us, we're most concerned about the blue memory booster. It has the effect where you reveal the top four cards in the deck, add one blue Digimon and put the rest in the bottom, and then it will stay on the board, which then you can then trash in future turns to gain two memories. Think of this as if you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! This is a pot of duality, where you're seeing more consistency in your deck for a cost of three, where for pot of duality, it would be not being a special summon. So it adds a bunch of consistency to your deck. Being able to see the right uh, Digimon at the right time is perfect, because if you have a um, rookie champion stack in your nursery ready to come out, maybe you don't have the ultimate in your hand yet, you can search for the ultimate with the blue memory boost and then find your right line up to your mega with that card you just searched. Also, the delay effect is really nice because you can save that for mid game when you want to uh, get a lot of memory so you can do your really big pushes. Maybe you want to, maybe you don't have enough memory to go from your champion to your ultimate and mega, but you can use your memory booster to gain two memory and a hammer spark, for example, it might bring you from two to five memory, and that might just be enough for you to bring out your mega and go for a really big swing, surprising your opponent when you were just on champion before. So these are a must. Plus, it's really cool that you get one of every color along with it. So if you ever want to experiment with other colors, you'll have the memory boosters to go straight away. So we've got the black memory booster, green memory booster, red memory booster, purple and yellow and they all have pretty much the same effect as the blue one except when it reveals the top four you have to add one of the same color so blue adds blue black adds black green adds green etc overall the starter deck was super super solid this is the first time we've seen a cohesive strategy in our starter decks compared to uh wave one and two where wave one was mostly just good stuff wave two had some synergy but this is the first time we're seeing name synergy for example in your vmons going straight into your ultra force vmons as well as drachmons being able to search any dramon digimon which you see a lot of here i definitely recommend it for 
new players because it gives you a really good starting point in learning a lot of the mechanics of Digimon. For example, the blockers, the plus one security attacks, the one digivolving effects, uh, how and how effects work. And it gives a really good solid basis that a new player might be able to build their deck around. It's also very nice for older players because it comes with a lot of really good generic support that older players might be able to use to supplement their decks, such as the Hammer Spikes being reprinted from the original Blue Starter deck, considering previously the Blue Starter decks were bought out quite a lot. The Memory Boosters are really good supplements for any strategy going forward, especially for things that might need more consistency when building up in their nursery. And of course, Cordramon is a really nice addition Especially for Rookie Rush variants, um, the on play draw 2 is really nice to build up your hand, especially when Rookie Rush plays a lot of cards, so they wouldn't normally be refreshing their hands through evolving. And playing out of security can be super deadly too, and getting that extra draw 2 from the playing out of security, so good. I think we're going to see this a lot in blue decks. And this will easily replace the ultimate they used to play, which was uh, on hard play draw 2 cards. So this is the same effect for a lower cost, plus they can potentially evolve it over their rookies. And with that, there's everything we get from the starter deck. Let's wrap it up and upgrade it and see how it looks like. And now we're back with the fully upgraded deck. Card that is best to stay within the aesthetics and themes presented in the starter deck. So he was able to take a lot of blue cards that was available to him from BT6 and older to bring you this deck, which has some really cool strategies. Let's get into it. So we're keeping the uh, Demi Vimon here. Like I said before, very easy to do in mid game. Drawing a bunch of cards, very easy. The extra 1k is really nice when you're hitting security. Not too much more to say about that. Vimon, this one from the side of the is very essential. So you can go into Ultra Force Vimon, which we are playing two of, because this one's from the side of the and this one is from BT2. So it's nice for him to have two different options and more numbers of Ultra Force Vtromon that this Vmod can go into. We're also playing three of the vanilla Electmon that come from the side of the deck. Really nice to just hard play and choke out your opponent of their memory. And then three of the Dracomon. Again, can search the entire deck. And two of the Blucamon. We do have some source trashing effects. So getting that extra memory is really nice because potentially you could have enough memory to go into your uh, Mega and not end your turn. So that's really cool. And that will wrap up our rookies. We're playing 12 of them. Onto our champions. Two of the Vigimon from the side of deck. This one will bounce a rookie. We didn't max out on that one um, because the effect uh, isn't always live if your opponent doesn't have a rookie. It's good sometimes and not all the time, if you know what that means. <laughs> And then we've got two of the Vigimon Zero, another Vigimon name for your uh, Drachmons to search out, or when we'll get to it, one of your Tamers, because we are flying Tamers in this one. This will have the effect where if you have a blue Tamer, you can trash top three to give this Digimon plus 2,000. It is normally on 5k, so you'll go to 7,000, but if you were to use the effect, uh, to gain the 2,000, go to 7, and then evolve over it, say, into a uh, Aero Vigimon. That plus 2,000 will come with, and it will go to 9k. Uh, it's even more cool when it, you carry it over to a Mega, say, with your old full Vigimon here. This one is normally 12k, but it will pump its way up to 14k with the Vigimon. It also has the inner effect, where you can place three non-digi egg cards from your trash to the bottom of the deck, in any order, and draw one card. It makes it easier to get to your uh, eight milestone cap, which you need for your uh, Demi V1 effect to be life, as well as this feature one effect to be life. So he's a really nice addition. And then Coolamon, where we have four of those. This is the only blocker of the deck. One cost evolution, really nice to staircase up, as well as really easy to put down for when you're evolving over a rookie, when you need a blocker for mid to late game, just to stop you from losing. Really nice to stall out and stay case through. And then for our final champion, we've got Cordramon, the one from the side of the deck. This will draw you two cards, get you close to the eight card milestone. 
Plus, playing out of security is really nice. Surprises your opponent every time. And that makes 11 champions. On to the ultimates. We've got four of this Aero Vigimon. Gives it jamming. And plus one security attack when you have eight or more. Very easy to do with all the drawing effects we have. And this Aero Vigimon here, another Vigimon name, where if you have a blue tamer in play, which is quite easy for us to do, you can unsuspend one of your blue Digimon when attacking. So this is any of your blue Digimon, not just itself. And as an inherent effect, you'll give its evolution jamming if it unsuspends during the main phase, which both our all four Vigimons can do with their effects. One last thing, two of the Monzemon. This is just a quick evolution. You also know hard play with five costs, which is kind of nice. Uh, 6k can keep it from being killed by a lot of effects that would kit normally 5k's. Megas now. <laughs> Two of the starter deck, all force feature model. Uh, and the unspending effect is really neat, has a lot of synergy with uh, this arrow feature model, because giving it jamming is really nice, especially when you're hitting for a lot of security attack. Um, making sure it lives through the security is very important. And the last mega, for this All Force Feature Bomb, which is from BT2, has the effect where if one of your blue tamers becomes suspended, you unsuspend this card. This is not once per turn. So if you have a lot of blue tamers that regularly suspend themselves during your turn, this card might be able to get in like five attacks in one turn. With a plus one security attack, that's deadly. That can be an easy OTK. And it also has the once per turn effect where the Digimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase, which you can do through its own effect, you gain one memory. Which is really, really cool to get into additional plays. Now, that is six of the Megas and eight of the Ultimates. This is a pretty slim Digimon count, going 12, 11, 8, 6. Normally we'd be seeing in heavy accounts uh, 14 rookies, uh, 12 champions, nine to 10 ultimates, and then seven uh, level sixes, and then perhaps two or three level sevens. So the reason we have so much room left over is because we're running quite a big uh, tamer package, because we want to get these effects off with the all force Vigimons, and they also add a lot of consistency to the deck. Starting off, Rena has the effect where on play with your top three cards, then add one Vmon to your hand. This is very easy to hit considering we're running uh, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, 20 different names for Vmon. So it's pretty much guaranteed to hit every single time. And it has the additional effect where one of your blue, when one of your blue Digimon attacks, you can suspend it to give it an extra 1,000 attack. This easily combos with the All Force Vigimon because when you swing with this and you have this on the field, you'll give it plus 1,000, it'll go to 12, and then it will immediately unsuspend before the attack goes through. Another one we have that will trigger to suspend during attacks is Sora and Joe. This one has the effect where you'll gain two memory at the start of your turn if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolutions in play which is very common to do. Um, it forces your opponent to play a certain way because if they wanted to memory choke you say with a vanilla cost, uh, two cost rookie such as Elecmon, they would normally hide play it and put you on one memory. Um, but if they were to do that, then Elecmon wouldn't have a source and it would actually go to three memory gain that plus two memory gain because it doesn't have a source. So with the Sora Joe, it forces your opponent to go really tall in their nursery which you can then counteract. Oh, and it also has the additional effect where if you attack with the blue Digimon, you may suspend the Tamer to trash two of the Digivolution sources from the bottom one of your opponent's Digimon. So that again will trigger all Force Vigimon here to unsuspend it when you attack. And then for the final Tamer, we've got the Tai Kamina. We're playing a lot of Vigimons here that in uh, these Vigimons, these Vigimons, and these Vigimons, which makes up 16 Vigimons. Very easy for it to be on the board. So if you have one on the board, you suspend it, gain one memory, or give it a thousand attack. And this, because it suspends, 
triggers your uh, all force feature one. And for the only option card we're playing, we're playing blue memory boost. This is the one that comes in the starter deck. Very important card considering we're running a very low Digimon count. Uh, this will see the right Digimon that you need to help you build up your stack in your nursery. Super, super important, especially when we're running so few Digimon. And it will help us dodge our tamers from drawing them when we don't need them in, the right, in that situation. Now this deck is pretty competitive as it is, but it's also really, really cheap. Um, half of the stuff come in the starter deck. Um, a lot of these are low rarity. This is a rare, this is a rare, this is a rare. Only a few of these cards are promos, where this one and this one come as a promo from the first set, but they're quite cheap to come by if you buy them in the secondary market, probably less than $3 each. This one is also a rare. And the only card that might set you back a little bit are these old force feature mods that are currently going for about $5 each. So you can definitely play this deck under $70 very easily. And you've got a pretty strong deck just from out the gate. Now before we wrap this one up, let me just show you a full combo to how it might perform in a match. So here's the combo we're looking for right here. We've brought out the old force feature on the stack out of our nursery. We've got our three tamers here and a spare Dracomon from the previous turn that we hard played, as well as my opponent has a random rookie on board and all five of their security. So when we swing with the old force Vigimon, we will suspend our arena to give an extra thousand attack to our old force Vigimon. This will then make it unsuspend. And because this is mid game, we'll have more than eight cards in my hand. This will trigger our Vigimon here to put this rookie back into their hand. And our old force Vigimon will also have a plus one security attack. So this will check our security for two checks. We'll hit again for two checks. We'll then suspend our tie to draw a card or give our Vigimon plus 1000 attack. We'll, we'll, we'll give a plus 1000 attack because it's got one more card in the security here that might be a threat. That will make our all force Vigimon and suspend again. And we'll smack. And then with the last check, we'll swing with the Dracomon and hit for game. And that's basically the OTK and the combo that we're looking for. Now, if you want to see this deck in action, Carl played this against me previously uh, in a match where I took the red starter deck and upgraded it against this one here. So if you want to check it out, I'll be releasing it tomorrow. Otherwise, it'll be linked right there. And that's everything, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you really liked it, give us a sub and a like. We'd really appreciate it. And with that, catch you next time. Peace. Thank you.